talk about uh, why this petition number four and also want to find out petition number one what is the progress because petition number one asked MAS and the commercial affairs division uh, to uh, are there any wrongdoing so we want to ask uh, for uh, update I also ask a member of parliament to bring up in parliament okay so you don't get the answer uh, there are many ways to ask uh, alright so uh, I therefore ask uh, can I meet them next week uh, to find out now let me read to you uh, the petition number 4 signed by hello uh, signed by 1017 people Address to Mr. Go Chok Tong, Chairman of Monetary Authority of Singapore. Uh, dear Mr. Go, we are investors of the mini bond, high bond, pinnacle notes, jubilee notes, and all other similar credit link securities. We will be selected by the sales representatives and all the advertised sales materials that these securities had low risk. In many cases, in many cases, we were misled by the sales representatives and or by the advertised sales materials that these securities had low risk. In many cases, we were recommended and or bought these products as alternative for fixed deposit or low-risk bond. We will not advise that these securities were high-risk and could lead to the loss of our entire invested sum on the failure of any one of several reference entities or on the failure of a certain number of the underlying assets. As risk-adverse investors, we would have avoided this investment if we had been properly advised. Due to the misrepresentation of the securities, we have invested large sums of our hard-earned savings and have suffered significant losses. We wish to submit our claim for a full refund of our invested sum and or a fair compensation of our loss. The Monetary Authority of Singapore has advised each individual investor to submit a complaint to the financial institution that distributed the product and to resolve the claim with the institution on a case-by-case -case basis. If not resolved, the investor can lodge the complaint with the Financial Industry Dispute Resolution Center. Many of the investors are uncertain about the process and are worried of making wrong statements at the interview called by the financial institution that could lead to the rejection of our claim. In view of the large numbers of about 10,000 investors who could have been misled into this unsuitable investment, we petition the Monetary Authority of Singapore to review the complaint handling process. Specifically, we suggest the following. One, that the Monetary Authority of Singapore appoint or set up an independent unit to receive the complaint and to provide assistance to the complainant to write their statement. Two, that the Monetary Authority of Singapore encourages the financial institutions to adopt a collective approach in offering fair compensation to investors who have been misled into investing in this unsuitable investment according to the criteria that the investors fall under. This according to the category that these investors fall under. This category Categories could, for example, be determined by the manner in which the investors were advised 
or approached by the sales representative or the alleged misinformation given to the investors. We urge the Monetary Authority of Singapore to encourage the financial institutions to offer fair compensation to their customer and restore our trust in the integrity of the financial institution and the reputation of Singapore as a reliable and trustworthy financial center. Sincerely, the undersigned. A total of 1,017 investors signed this petition. Do you agree? Yes! One more time, do you agree? Yes! One more time, do you agree? Yes! Thank you. Now, the, according to MAS statement, uh, 2,500 complaints have been lodged, but still another 7,005 complaints not lodged yet. So those of you who have not lodged a complaint, uh, we have a complaint form. So uh, my volunteers will distribute the complaint form. Those volunteers, please put up the hand with complaint form. Hey, please put up your hand. <laughs> Nobody, ah. Uh. Okay, there's one over here anymore. Volunteers to complain form, please put up. Okay, later on, uh, go to the volunteers to collect the complaint form. Now, on the complaint form at the bottom is a lawyer who can help you to write a statutory declaration. I think from what I hear, Many investors went to complain to the financial institution and they come back, many cases come back, the financial institution says, sorry, no case. If this is going to be like that, I think better you spend $120, get a statutory declaration. Too many, they just say no case. So the lawyer will be able to advise you how to write your complaint, at least to state how you were misled. So because of too many no case, I think better for you uh, to then see a lawyer, write down this uh, statutory declaration. Also, uh, if you submit already and they say it's a uh, no case, what do you do next? You can go to the dispute center. But maybe before you go to the dispute center, Spend hundred and twenty dollars, write statutory declarations. All right, I think better that way uh, because uh, if both these two center they say no case or so, then I think uh, the chance will be not so good. So better to write your complaint, get lawyers advice with a statutory declaration. <coughs>